Hey guys, it's Kaylee from Ecstasy Crafts. Today we're going to make a little snow time topper tag. Here's a couple samples using the 6x6 snow time premium quality papers, which are just beautiful. So whichever one you got, if you purchased a virtual open house kit, you will have got one of these beautiful papers. And we're going to be using um, the 3D decoupage toppers, also snow time. So we are going to open up our virtual open house kit if you ordered one. If not, not to worry. We're going to have all the instructions on how to make the card from scratch and what products we used to put these little kits together uh, in the description. And you can follow along this with the steps on our blog at ecstasycrafts.com. So let's get into our virtual open house kit. Make sure you get all the pieces out. So let's see, what paper did I get? Oh how cute, I love this one. With little pine cones and the stripes. Let's clear some space here. So this is the die set that we use to cut all these pieces. Uh, products will be linked below and in our blog if you're interested. So, I guess first things first, we're going to decide which side we want to be the front of our tag. And I think I'm going to go with this guy as the front of my tag. So, on to the back side, I'm going to attach this little piece cut from this die. I'm going to attach that to the back and I'm just going to use my double sided tape. Uh, you can use your craft glue if you want. Uh, you'll just have to hold the piece in place a little bit longer for it to dry. Um, sometimes it's nice, it gives you a little bit more wiggle room because you're going to want to line up the um, ribbon holes here on top of one another. So the glue might be handy if, if you have any trouble with that. But for now, I'm going to peel off my double-sided tape and place that guy right on top. Then I'm going to decide which side I want my ribbon to go on. And I think I'm going to have the pine cone side up. So. Again, you can use glue, you can use double-sided tape to do this, and I find it's easiest if you put your tape or glue on the actual tag at this point. Just below the, um, just above and below the little hole for your ribbon, and Peel your taping back off, and again, you want to line those holes up and pop it right on there. We'll do the same thing for the back. can be a little tricky, but nothing too serious. Nothing I know you guys can't handle. <laughs> Alright, get that backing off. And again, line up those holes and pop your little ribbon right on. Then I have some ribbon reinforcers here. And this time I'm definitely going to, oh, there's the other one sne sneaking away on me. Uh, I'm definitely going to use glue for this because I don't have any double-sided tape that is that skinny. And decide whichever one you want, whichever pattern you want on the front and apply your glue to these little guys. Ooh, that might be a lot. <laughs> we'll see. And just line up those holes. There we go. I'll let that dry for a second. And we'll do the same for the front. Just a little bit of glue is all it takes. 
I'm just using our um, Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue. That This is my go-to craft glue. Um, it dries nice and quick so you're not waiting around for ages for things to dry. Just gonna pop that guy on the front. There we go. I like how that's looking so far. Alright. Now we've got our um, actual insert card, which was cut using this die from the Studio Light cutting and embossing tag set. And what we're going to do is fold our uh, front panel. This one's going to go right here. So, I mean, you could have it set this way as well. And I might do that contrast a little bit. So you're going to want to fold it. You can see it's embossed the lines already, but you want to make sure you're folding it around your um, insert card to make sure that it can slip in and out of that pocket easily. Make sure there's a little bit of wiggle room there. All right, so that should work. I'm going to actually leave the card in while I attach it to make sure that I don't shrink it in without meaning to. So I'm going to take my double-sided tape and apply it to those little uh, flaps. There we go, on the bottom, all three sides. Peel that off. And again, you could be using your craft glue for this step as well. Um, I just like the double-sided tape. I can move along quickly. All right, I'm going to line it up on the front of my card, or on the front of my tag, and make sure the tape's stuck down and that my little card can slip in and out. Okay, now comes the fun part. We get to decorate the front of it with all of our little toppers. So, some of them have a variety of different toppers. Some of them have some stackable um, toppers. So you can choose whichever you want out of your uh, out of the sheet that you got in your virtual open house kit. I think. Let's see, what do I want to do? So many options. And then, then the sheet also comes with kind of like a bonus background scene that you could honestly make into another tag all on its own if you wanted to. These guys are a little finicky to pop out, but just take your time and don't want to rip anybody's legs off or anything. <laughs> Let's see. I think I'll put this little deer on the front. It's so cute. And maybe a couple of those mushrooms. You can get as intricate as you want, adding as many layers or as many elements. Um, but I'm going to go with, I don't know, this, I mean, I guess I could do it horizontally, couldn't I? That's cute. Here's the other samples for different options on how to do it with a little holly element up at the top, um, a little sentiment on the back maybe. And some stacked presents. I think I'm going to do this one horizontally. I don't see why I wouldn't. Cute. Okay, so we're going to apply these little toppers with um, the foam pads that came with your virtual open house kit. Again, if you didn't get a virtual open house kit, products are linked below. Stick these guys on. And, oops, 
That's not going to work, is it? I can't have little tags on the back of my deer. It'll stick to the the um, insert. Luckily, they come off easy. There we go. So make sure your little foam pads fit within just this little uh, front pocket piece so that you can still slide your card in and out. And we're going to pop him on. So just peel the backing off of your little foam pads. I'm going to stick that little gnome right on there. Oh, I love how that looks. Okay, maybe I will add one more on. Well, I can reuse those little pads. There we go. Maybe. And this one's going to just go on top of the wheelbarrow that's already there. So I don't have to worry about the pad placement. I know it's covered. Pop his wheelbarrow on. How cute is that? Okay. So we're pretty well done, but I want to add one little extra touch to it. And I think I will add this little mushroom and pine cone just to the corner of my insert tag because that's adorable. <laughs> so I'm going to use glue here just because it's so tiny. Um, you could use your um, sticky specs if you wanted to, but I think the glue will work well here because you don't want um, anything snagging when you're um, placing your card insert in. So cute. Okay, again, you're going to want to let that dry a bit. And then you're ready to go. Put whatever sentiment you want on there or a little to from card for a gift over the holidays. It's just a little something extra special. Okay, guys, so if you did buy a virtual open house kit, Share everything that you've made with us. I want to see your gift tags. Um, you can post it to our Facebook page or in our Facebook group, Crafting with Ecstasy, and share. Share what you came up with and share what patterns of paper you got. We love to see it. Okay, that's it for now. Don't forget, products are linked below, and all the instructions are up on our blog. See you guys later.